I want to start off and give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekah Kadash. I want to give another double honors to the apostles and elders in Great Millstone who have taught me this truth and who rule well. Enough respect and salutations out there to you, sincere Akim, that's pushing his word in sincerity and in truth. This is the brother Malachi, and today I'm going to come with a short lesson, and we're going to talk about this uh, this this crooked generation that we live in. It's very perverse, very crooked, and two thirds of our people they just not hearing it. They're not hearing the words of the Heavenly Father. They're not hearing the uh they're not hearing the prophets, they're not hearing the men of the Lord that's out there on the highways and byways, and we're crying and we're prophesying the downfall of this kingdom. You see the videos going out day in and day out. And guess what? Our people are so stuck up at out there in, in the in the folly. They cannot come to repentance. They they they're just they're just that de uh, Salakia, they're just that degenerate plant. And they cannot come. They cannot get right. I mean, our people, they just they so destroy. As you read in the book of Hosea, chapter 4 and 6, uh, and it reads, um, well, you know, uh, let's just get there. Let's get there. I don't want to butcher the scripture. It reads, Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I also, Salakia, I will also forget thy children as they were increased. So they sinned against me. Therefore will I change their glory into shame. And that's what you see with the, the wicked two-thirds of our people. They're just in shame. I mean, they're walking around with their pants down. You see their, their, the you see their boxes or their briefs. You got the men want to be women, effeminate. You got the women want to be men, being dykes out here. They're changing the whole glory of the woman. They're trying to be a man. You see them, they cut their hair bald. They got the tattoos all over them. They want to wear the little tank tops like the men. They just... And these are women. Their glory is into shame when you see these people. You see our people, they're on crack, cocaine, uh, uh, heroin. You see them, they trying to roll up a blunt. Who can roll the blunt the best? Oh, is this is this blunt fat, fatter than yours? I mean, the folly of our people is, is nothing but shame. So for the men of the Lord, and uh, uh, the prophets, and, uh, the, the hopeful elect that's out there and they're hearing this, you cannot help these people. These people are done. Why? Because the Most High has rejected them. These are they're so they're reprobate. They they cannot get their so they're so reprobate to this faith that they they just think that it's fate. They think that it's folly. All right. So let's go ahead and jump to the book of uh Acts. Chapter 2 and verse 38. We'll start at 39. So lucky. See, there goes another video popping up. Verse 39. Acts 2 and 39. For the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord, our power shall call. So all around the earth, you're going to see the Most High. He's going to be beginning. He's already doing that. Salakia. He's already doing. He's calling the, the, the men of the Lord. He's calling the, the, the elect, the hopeful elect. As the scripture says, many are called, but few are chosen. But you see, many are being called. You see the great awakening of the Israelites as you see today. And, the, and our people, the two-thirds, they see it going on. They see them. They see uh, IUIC. They see them marching. That should be able to put something in their mind. But guess what? They're so down. They're so in, down in their shame. 
They have no glory about them that they don't even care about the glory. They just want to be in shame. They want to be out. They want to walk naked. When you look at it spiritually, our people are out here walking naked. And it's us. You see the men of the Lord. We, we, got, we got the covering for them. We're trying to get them to trying to get them to put their clothes on to get them right. But they want to stay filthy. They want to stay naked out here. Let's read on verse 40. And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation. These are the words of Peter. All right? In the time of Acts. So now you look at that today in today's time, you see it's the it's, it's he uh, Peter was the representation of the elect gift. And then you have the elect now, the hopeful elect, Salakia, and you have uh, the men of the Lord. We're out here and we're telling you and we're proclaiming, save yourselves from this untoward generation. This generation is done you can see the time that I came into this truth and to the time that I see it now. I have, I'm, I'm, I'm still a babe in this truth. And I can see a big difference in the vibration of our people. I can see the vibration of, of this whole world. It has changed drastically, especially within this last year. You can see in the year 2020, a lot of stuff is going to happen. The Most High is not playing anymore. We can obviously see it. So let's jump into the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32. Hmm. Verse 5. Yeah, we'll, we'll go right here to verse 7. This is Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 5. They have corrupted themselves. Their spot is not the spot of his children. They are a perverse and crooked generation. So this is the Most High. He's 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 he's, he's, uh, <clears throat> lucky. he's talking in the spirit of Moses. And, and, and guess what? Uh, he's telling you that our people are perverse and it's a crooked generation. They're not the spot of his children. Why? Because he's rejected them. You can see it. It's clear and it's plain as day. Our people are all bugged out. They want to side with the enemy. They love the enemy more than they love their own people. Verse 6. Do ye thus requite the Lord Yahweh, O foolish people and unwise? Is not he thy father that hath brought thee? Hath he not made thee and, and established thee? Right. This is what the Most High is doing. He's going he's gonna to establish us. He's, gonna, he's the one that made us. He's the one that brought us out of the land of Egypt and in the form in, in, in Salakia. And in the coming days, he's going to bring us out of the land of the north. He's going to put us in our own land. And he's not going to remove us never anymore. He's going to put his new laws in our, in, our, in our hearts to where we are never going to go off anymore. But our people are so perverse and crooked, he has to kill them off. They're done. Our people are so finished. Verse 7. Remember the days of old and consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father and he will show thee. Thy elders and they will tell thee. Ask the elders. Ask the uh, apostles and elders of, of uh, Great Millstone. They're going to tell you the truth. Raw and uncut. They're not going to spare your feelings. All right? I think I have one more, uh, one more scripture. I just can't remember. I believe it's Jeremiah. And that'll be the last closing scripture. I didn't want to make this lesson too long. 
51. Hmm. Some meat on this. Um. Hmm. All right, we start at. Hmm. All right, yeah, that we read to forty nine. Mm. Salakia, Salakia. Bear with me, bear with me. I just stop at forty nine. We'll start at fifty. We'll stop at fifty. Okay. This is Jeremiah fifty one and verse forty five. It reads My people, go ye out of the midst of her. And deliver ye every man his soul from the fierce anger of Yahweh. Verse 46. <clears throat> Unless your heart faint and ye fear for the rumor that shall uh, be heard in the land. A rumor shall both come one year and after that in another year shall come up a rumor and violence in the land ruler against ruler. Therefore, behold, the days come that I will judge, Salakia, that I will do judgment upon the graven images of Babylon, and her whole land shall be confounded, and all her slain shall fall in the midst of her. Then the heaven and the earth and all that is therein shall sing for Babylon, for the spoilers shall come unto her from the north, saith the Lord, Yahweh. As Babylon have caused the slain of Israel to fall, so at Babylon shall fall the slain of all of slain of all the earth. Ye that have escaped the sword, go away, stand not still, remember Yahweh afar off, and let Jerusalem come into your mind. And that goes to the elect. Why? Because Babylon is about to fall. Babylon is about to burn. You're going to see a lot of things happen in uh, 2020. 2020 is going to be a year of, 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 of a lot of exciting things. A lot of exciting things, a lot of scary things. But guess what? When you're walking in the spirit and you know that you're doing everything that the Lord said, Trust me, he's going to hide you from all the things, the said perils that are about to come, especially upon his people. He's angry with the two thirds of our people and our people still won't listen. So therefore, he's going to burn them up in Babylon, which this place is full of blood, full of lies. It's covered with graven images. It's, 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 it's all... Uh, uh, it's, 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 you got Esau's hand wrapped all around, especially the earth, but especially here in Babylon the Great, to where our people are confused and they cannot see the truth. And guess what? They're so they're, they they cannot find the truth. Why? I mean, they can find the truth, but they they don't want to come to the truth. Why? They're drunken. They're drunken in Esau's philosophies. So therefore, our people will, go, will have to be destroyed in Babylon the Great with all its graven images and everything. All the works therein that is inside Babylon will burn. Our people are in a perverse and crooked generation. We are living in it. So walk the straight path, the, the, the straight and narrow path, because you can easily fall off. Anywhere you go in this world, anywhere you go, you will fall. You will fall off. If you do not, if you're not lead, if you're not being led by the spirit. All right. So hopefully this little short lesson was uh, edifying to the Occam out there. 
Keep pushing. Keep fighting. Keep the faith. We come into some times that that a lot of people not really looking at. You can see America, they're in mirth. But Babylon is going to fall. And guess what? It is a perverse and crooked generation. And two-thirds of our people will go down with it. Pray fast and hope for mercy that you are part of the elect that will be that that uh, that can be saved from the sad perils. This is the brother Malachiah. Shalom.